Welcome to 22 Hours Channel, where we bring you the last day and hostess political and social news update of the day. In today's program, we will present the main highlight as follows. Ladies and gentlemen, after Typhoon Dok Suri continued to move north, it continued to bring heavy rainfall to central and southern regions of Heilongjiang province. Since Tuesday morning, the Heilongjiang Meteorological Observatory has issued 15 consecutive red rainstorm warnings. In addition to the Provincial Meteorological Observatory, the Heilongjiang Meteorological Observatory in Harbin, Chihar, Mudanjiang, Heilin, Wuching, Ningen, and other cities have also issued rain warning signals. Red Storm According to CCTV News, Heilongjiang Provincial Hydrology and Water Resources Center said that due to the influence of rainfall, the water level of Mudanjiang Station, Heilin Village, Wenchen Town, Xin District, City at 11 p.m. on Wednesday night at 229.01 meters. The emergency water level is 0.1 meter above the water level, meeting the numbered flood standards. The water level is trending up. According to measures for the implementation of flood numbering on major rivers in Heilongjiang province, the No. 1 Mudanjiang flood of 2023 has been formed. According to the latest news from CCTV News, the headquarters reporter learned from the Flood Control and Drought Relief Headquarters of the People's Government of Mudanjiang City, Heilongjiang Province that according to data from the Bureau of Hydrometeorology, there was another heavy rain upstream from early morning on Wednesday to Thursday. The rainfall reached heavy rain. Due to the heavy rainfall in the previous period and the subsurface being saturated, the Hailing River Basin may experience another major flood and the embankment of Hailing City may reach or exceed the guaranteed water level. In addition, the Bureau of Meteorology has issued an orange warning for rainstorms. The Department of Hydrology and Hydrology has issued an orange warning for flood disasters on the river, and many villages in Mudanjiang City have had to subject it to heavy rains and floods. After research and analysis, a relatively large flood disaster may occur in Mudanjiang City. After requesting approval from the city government, the Municipal Flood Control and Drought Relief Headquarters decided to raise the flood control emergency response level of Mudanjiang City from Level 3 to Level 3. To at 8 a.m. Yesterday. In addition, it is worth noting that the torrential rain in Heilongjiang caused heavy damage to Wuching City. According to Beijing News and other media, Floods caused by heavy rains have flooded many villages and towns in Wuching City. Authorities have organized the evacuation of some residents overnight. Some farmers said that greenhouses were washed away by floods, many areas of cropland were flooded, rice has just begun to be harvested, and this year's rice production will be affected. According to the Wuching Notice, on the afternoon of Wednesday, the Flood and Drought Prevention Office Wuching City Headquarters issued a notice saying that due to the increased discharge of Long Fengshan Reservoir at 2.30 at p.m. On Wednesday night, people from 25 villages in five towns and townships related to the downstream area of the reservoir are moving all the way. To date, a total of more than 6,000 people have been transferred. Damage caused by natural disasters is being calculated. As of 8 a.m. On Wednesday, a total of 108 stations in Wuching City had rain, of which 74 had rainfall exceeding 50 mm and a maximum of 205 mm in Thang Loyasefi. The Vu Shuang rice production area was also swept away by floods, and farmers cried out in pain. That's a lot according to Southern Metropolis Daily. Heavy rainfall has caused damage to some areas in Wuching City, Harbin. On Wednesday, some farmers in Wuching told reporters that now that the rice is in the field and in bloom, some rice fields are flooded, which will adversely affect the rice crop. An employee of the Wuching Department of Agriculture and Rural Affairs said that most of the officials who are currently working on disaster relief work in rural areas are temporarily unable to grasp the general situation of the affected crops. By disaster. And the sad farmer said, Stop it. It's really over. It is known that Wuching City is a grain production base, an important commodity of the country is one of the 10 advanced counties in grain production of the country and is one of the five leading rice-growing counties. Top of the country. The rice-growing area in Wuching accounts for one-tenth of the entire Heilongjiang province. The famous Wu Shuang rice is produced here. According to Jimu News, which is the main production area of Bu Shuang rice fragrance, 
Locals in Longfang Sentown told reporters that many rice fields have been flooded due to continuous heavy rains. If the rain continues, the flooded rice fields will fail. The affected area in this flood is the main origin and production area of the rice variety Bu Shuang Dao Ho Tuong. Locals told reporters that many rice fields were flooded due to heavy rains. Trong Van Song, a resident of Paradise Village, said that the locality has planted 100 hectares of rice varieties of Bu Shuang Dao Ho Tuong. As of Wednesday morning, about 45 hectares had been submerged, with only a few heads sticking out. Trong Van Song said that if the rice plants are smaller or larger, and are at the planting stage, water logging will not be a big problem, and will not affect the harvest. But now it's flooded, it's okay if it doesn't rain anymore. However, according to the weather forecast, there will be rain in the next two days. If it continues to flood like this, it will all be damaged. Trong Van Song said, 100 hectares of land can produce about 60,000 pounds of rice per year, normally. The total annual income can be 200,000 yuan, if half of the rice dies. This year it is difficult for him to have capital can be kept. The Heilongjiang Provincial Meteorological Bureau has also issued a red warning about the risk of geological disasters. In addition, geological disasters are also notable, according to CNR. Com, the Department of Natural Resources of Heilongjiang Province and the Bureau of Meteorology of Heilongjiang Province jointly issued red, orange and yellow warnings about risk. Geological disaster. Affected by heavy rainfall, expected from 10 am yesterday to 8 pm today. Meteorological risks of geological disasters in Athan, Wushuang, Tantian, Dindo, Shanghai, and Mudanjiang are very high, issued a red warning. Kaosan, Kaodong, Longjiang, Nanjiang, Tenka, and Gudali Entrai, Biacian, Duongbuang, Fonglam, Huhao, and Gothoi, and Hatmai, Thiatlai, Hailuwan, Suilin, then and have high meteorological risk of geological disaster issued orange warning. Taiho City, Harbin Urban Area, Bayan, Donghar, Bongchen, Duong Nguyen, Kay Tian, Song and HA Sun, Baothan and Mi Sun have issued yellow warnings. Pay attention to geological disasters such as collapses, landslides, landslides and other geological disasters caused by heavy rains, and do a good job of monitoring an early warning and moving people to avoid risk. Mudan Jiang, Heilong Jiang Province once again received a red alert for heavy rain, raging floods, houses were washed away, people were forced to wait to avoid danger. Scenes like these are heartbreaking and a reminder of how much we still need to do in the face of natural disasters. Yesterday, CCTV reported on the flood situation in Mudan Jiang. The water level of Mao Danjiang Second Station, located in Hailing Village, Banjuan Town, Xi'an District, Mao Danjiang City has reached 229.01 meters, 0.1 meters higher than the warning water level, and the water level continued to rise. Experts say that there are many signs that the no. One Mudan Jiang flood of 2023 has formed. Facing that situation, riverside areas need to urgently strengthen prevention measures to protect the lives and properties of residents. The power of floods cannot be underestimated. Once there is a flood, it will bring great destruction. Therefore, before the flood returns, authorities at all levels and rescue agencies need to strengthen monitoring, early warning and timely notification to riverside people to prepare for response. At the same time, residents themselves must take preventive measures to avoid possible dangers. Waiting out is very dangerous behavior. Once swept away by flood, the consequences will be extremely dire. When floods come, People try to avoid safe places, stay away from rivers and flood-prone areas to avoid unnecessary risks. Flood disasters not only cause human casualties, but also cause enormous damage to arable and houses, infrastructure, etc. Therefore, rescue and reconstruction work after disaster is also very important. The government and all walks of life need to act quickly to provide timely support and relief to disaster-stricken areas and help the affected people to restore production and life soon. The frequent occurrence of floods also makes us think deeply that the relationship between man and nature needs to be re-examined. Climate change and environmental damage are increasing the frequency and intensity of natural disasters. Let's appreciate and protect our environment more, and take more active measures to slow down the trend of climate change and environmental destruction. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The number of people affected by the disaster in Shuju City was 133,913, and 146 villages were affected, covering an area of 225.38 square kilometers. In just a few days, with an unknown number of people trapped in the flood, rescue teams in many places are ramping up efforts to rescue them. Shuju, Hebe was hit hard by the disaster, and it was listed on the hot search list six times in a row. Many famous companies such as Hongek Singurk, Xiaomi, Tencent and Michelle Bingsheng have donated money to solve the problem. No one thought that a heavy rain would put the city in such a predicament, and everyone naturally wished them well, hoping that those trapped could get out of their troubles as soon as possible. At the top of the hot search, Yuju, Hebe are stepping up the movement of stranded people from afar, looking at the whole city like an ocean from afar, with a water depth of up to 6 meters, the first rescuers passed by the sign and had to keep their heads down. Residential areas were flooded, vehicles were washed away, many problems such as continuous river subsidence needed to be solved, many factories and car repair shops were flooded, people's properties were severely damaged. For Juju, Hebe, everyone contributes, within three days it trains as much as a year. This is a natural disaster, an inevitable disaster, let the public see the anger of nature. Multiple common areas are relaying rescue information. People in difficulty contact the rescue team through the internet and conduct emergency rescue. Unexpected natural disasters make many people's homes unrecognizable. For now we can only do our best to ensure people's safety. In the face of natural disasters, whoever has the power to contribute, who can go to the scene to help, help each other, observing and helping each other is a common ideal hidden deep in the heart upstream heroes appear at this time. We don't need to sing about their suffering. Their bravery and brilliance will illuminate the darkest of times for those trapped. Some people have come to Juju, Hebe day and night from more than 2,000 miles, and the storm rescue operation that was carried out was extremely moving. However, at this time, there will still be words to attack those who are trapped. In such special circumstances, such people must be held accountable before the law and severely punished. This is not only an ethical issue but also a legal one. Our newsletter for today is here to end, please leave any feedback below in the comments. If you find it interesting, give us a like, comment, share and press the bell to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and see you soon. The recent information conclude today's new bulletin from 22 Hour channel. Thank you all for your interest and viewership. Goodbye, farewell, and see you again.